Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Evoto AI, which is a really powerful suite of AI powered editing and retouching tools. And every time I've covered a similar software in the past, so many of you guys have told me that I need to try out Evoto and you've told me that it is the best. Well, Evoto reached out and I have actually been using the software now for the past month or two. And honestly, I have been blown away. You guys were definitely right about how great Evoto is. So in this video, I want to touch on around five of my favorite features that have really, really impressed me in my portrait work when using Evoto. So let's dive in. And the first feature that has really blown me away in Evoto is the AI color match tool. And what this does is it lets you upload your fully edited photos and Evoto uses them as a reference to replicate your look in a single click. So here, for example, I've uploaded a bunch of my own different portraits that are all finished, fully edited, and once they're uploaded, I can simply click on them and Evoto does a great job of matching my current photo, whichever shot I'm working on, it matches up the colors and the overall look to that pre-existing image. And it's not just like slapping a preset over the image as well, it is making non-destructive color edits to the image and it gets really, really close to my usual look. So on this particular image, I've gone with this look and it's giving me that desaturated greens and really nice clean skin tones that I really want in this particular image, all in just one click. And this is especially great for any large shoot because you can sync color match along with any other edits or retouches that you've made to your images across thousands of photos. So it just saves you a ton of time, especially when you're working on a big job, like a wedding, or when you are just working through huge galleries. But maybe you don't want to use your own images or maybe you don't quite have your own defined style yet when it comes to portraits. Well, Evoto also provides built-in AI color looks. And these different looks give you a wide range of styles to choose from, like film inspired looks or quite natural tones that are perfect for weddings. Or there's even a black and white option. Personally, for a lot of my portraits, I've actually really been liking the luxury texture look. It is definitely one of my favorites to use right now for environmental portraits. And also, I actually think that Evoto is pretty underrated as a full editor at this point because it offers most of the same tools as all the big name competitors. So now you can do your entire workflow from color editing right through to retouching all in one standalone application. You can also save your own presets. So in my case, I've saved one as a kind of starting point for retouching. So it gives me a really solid foundation every time I start a portrait to work from, a really nice natural look that I can either dial up or dial down if I want to. And you can share your presets with others if you want to, so that's really good at any time that you need to collaborate with others. Next up, of course, no surprise here, I have been loving the retouching tools and you guys have been telling me how good the retouching capabilities are in Avoto and you were not wrong. I could go into every single slider to be honest, but instead I wanna highlight a few standout tools that I've really been loving for my portrait work. And first up, Evoto seriously impressed me with how it handles skin texture, especially freckles. Now here's a shot of Kaya who has natural freckles. And whenever I'm retouching somebody who has freckles, I always wanna retain that texture. But a lot of other retouching software generally just tends to blur them out completely and you lose them. So if I raise the freckles and acne slider, you'll see that it just removes everything from the skin. So the skin looks flawless, but we've lost all of the freckles. But the cool thing with Avoto is that it just gives you so much control. So there is a dedicated freckle slider. And if I dial that back right down to zero, and it brings back all of the freckles right back to the image while still removing all the blemishes and imperfections to the rest of the skin. And that kind of precision is just such a time saver. For me personally, compared to doing this all manually before, I always really struggled when retouching skin with freckles. And whilst I'm showing off this slider, just look at how effective the acne removal tool is in general. The results speak for themselves. It just gives a really super clean, natural result fast. I've also been loving the eye bag and dark circle tool. It is super effective and easy to use and really brightens up the eyes. And I also really like this slider for marionette lines. I don't think I've actually seen this in any other retouching software. And just look at how effortlessly it smooths those right out. So now if I jump into the skin retouching section, this is definitely the most powerful section. And if I just use a few of these sliders gently, 
It just shows off how natural Evoto's retouching can be. Add a bit of dodge and burn and frequency separation, and it really helps even out skin tones, but at the same time, it keeps all of that natural skin texture and detail, which is just so important to me in portraits. I also really love these skin texture presets. I find myself using the matte preset quite a bit, and it's perfect for just mattifying the skin and reducing shine a little bit to create a smoother, more even finish across the face. And it does all of that with just a single click. And I just love easy to use quick functions like this. Now, this one has been a bit of a game changer for me. It's the AI Unify Face Complexion Tool. So a bit of a mouthful, but it is incredibly useful for giving facial skin a really consistent unified tone, especially when you're dealing with uneven skin colors or patchiness. It just brings everything together in such a clean, subtle way. And this is again, something that's actually quite hard to fix manually. And this just does it easily. Also, this is super useful as well. In a shot like this, where I've photographed a subject in the shade, I love using the eye enhancement tools in Evoto. In particular, the catch light tool is awesome. So you can actually add a catch light when there isn't one. And it really just breathes life into the eyes in a portrait like this. So check out the difference when I toggle this on. It looks super natural in my opinion, but it just adds that little bit of sparkle that I love seeing in portraits in the eyes. Finally, the makeup tools in Evoto are fantastic. So usually I rely on doing a lot of dodge and burn in Photoshop to contour the model's face. But with Evoto, I can do it all with a single slider. So just by adjusting the contour slider, it adds shape and dimension to the face in a really flattering, natural looking way. And when I boost the highlight slider as well, then it just really makes the face pop, giving it that nice three dimensional look. And that's a little trick that I use to really draw the viewer's attention to the face of the model. Okay, one last thing I've got to mention in this section, and this is a big deal for me. Um, Evoto actually lets you edit multiple subjects in a shot individually. And this is perfect for things like weddings or couple shoots, because there's often times where I might want to do a tiny bit of retouching to the bride, for example. Evoto makes it easy because I can just select specific subjects and apply adjustments to just that person. So no accidentally smoothing out the skin of the groom. And this is something that I've really missed in a lot of other retouching software. And I'm so glad that Evoto has included this. Next up, the backdrop tools in Evoto are honestly the best that I've used. And I absolutely love using these, of course, for studio work, because you can easily just clean up cluttered backdrops and remove distractions in just a few clicks if you want to. So that's really handy when things are quite perfect in camera. There's also a Unify lighting slider, which helps even out lighting across the background. And it is really great for situations where you've got uneven shadows, or maybe you didn't quite nail the lighting. This tool just fixes it. Personally, I'm a bit lazy in the studio and I often just use one light. So this tool has been really handy for giving more of a professional look. It, it kind of makes the image look like you've lit the background. But beyond just cleanup, you can completely change the backdrop as well. So you can switch it to a solid white if you want that really cool, clean studio look, or go for a really nice warm brown, or even a classic fabric backdrop and they all look really good as well. You can also upload your own custom backdrops, so that gives you a lot of flexibility. And I like this just on that off chance that a client might change their mind and maybe wants a plain background, black or white background. Well then, with Vivoto, it's no problem to change it. Now, this one is awesome. It is the clothing de-wrinkle tool. It is seriously impressive. So with just one slider, you can smooth out distracting wrinkles in clothing, just like this. Look how good that looks. It is perfect for times like maybe doing a, doing a couple shoot and maybe somebody didn't have time to iron their outfit. Whatever the situation, maybe you're shooting fashion, this tool can be a real lifesaver and it kind of helps you achieve that clean professional look in your final images. Finally, the stray hair tool is another standout feature that I genuinely think, in my experience, Evoto does better than the competition. So take this shot, for example. There are loads of flyaway hairs. And honestly, for me, with a shot like this, this would usually be way too much for me to deal with and I would just leave it. 
cloning out all those stray hairs manually would just take forever. Just by adjusting this one stray hair slider, you can either tame the flyaways a little bit in a really natural way like this, or push it all the way, and you can remove them completely for a really super clean look. It just saves so much time and effort. And beyond that, the rest of the hair tools in Avoto are just as good. So with this slider, you can smooth out hair and it gives a really nice polished finish. You can add shine with a single slider or even completely change the color of your model's hair. There's just so much to play with in Avoto and the results always consistently look great. All right, so those are just a few of my favorite features in Evoto AI. And honestly, that is just scratching the surface with this software. There is just so much functionality packed into this that I'm still getting to grips with it myself and I look forward to learning more. If you wanna try out Evoto, there's a link in the description where you'll get five free credits to explore all the features and see if it fits into your workflow. And if you're already convinced, then there is also a coupon code down there for a discount on both the annual and pay-as-you-go plans. So let me know what you guys think of Evoto, or if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to help. But thank you guys so much. That is it from me. Huge thanks to Evoto AI for sponsoring this video, of course, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.